Okay, so what I did is I put your battery on the back here and I swapped it out with another AF. You can see they have little numbers here or letters. This one says AH, which are the new versions. AFs are the pre previous versions. And um, I put it on one of these models over here that take AHs. They didn't like it, so I took it off and put it on an older model that takes AFs. And um, this is what we get. You can see, so when I plug it in, both lights come on. Which means it should be good. Now I watch them for a few minutes. Battery that's got a lot of juice. The front one, mine, starts blinking. Alright, so back battery says it's got enough juice. Starts blinking. A little faster than the front one, so it's not full yet. You can tell. Now, I'll let that set for a little bit. Um, but... What happens when I try to turn it on is I get an error code C100. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. And um, I can show you that I've got an off-board charger here that's charging other batteries. And when I put it on that initially, bringing it home, it uh, came on green. Stayed on green. Came down, checked it a few minutes later, it was red. Um, unplugged it, plugged it back in, it was green. It was red. So I plugged it back in again, green, and then it came uh, flashing on and off green, which is what we want. So that's when I thought it had enough juice to proceed with an actual test. Now this is why I'm testing your battery versus what they do at the shop. They plug it in, it holds a charge, they send it home. They should check it on a machine beforehand. And um, that's what I'm doing for you now to see if we still get that C100. So here it is, it's still blinking. And I'm going to fire it up in just a second. Okay, it's kind of a little awkward to hold this thing. But um, here it goes. Here it's Becky. And we will try to fire it up, see what happens. Ooh, it wants to, but goes to all red. And there it is. C100. So, we're going to look the code up, see what it says. But, as of right now, my friend, I'm going to keep your battery until we get it fixed. I can send it back, but if it's not going to fire up and run for you, it's not going to do what you want. Let me see what I can do. Uh, I'll run some codes and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I find out what's going on. Um, of course, you may want to send it in to get a remand, which will cost you six to eight hundred bucks. Or for nine hundred dollars, you can buy a brand new one. I prefer to buy them in pairs and have an off board charger. That way, I have a spare in case one backs up. Uh, sometimes it helps to move them from front to rear regularly. Because it seems to me that the rear ones go out more often. Maybe they get more taxed. There you have it. My, my two cents.